Well, hi there, everybody, and good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. We have a few scattered showers and thunderstorms in southwest Nebraska this morning. Nothing severe, but a couple of stronger storms out there producing some small hail and some gusty winds. The rest of us, just a lot of cloud cover and some areas of fog um, that we're dealing with this morning. Uh, this cloud cover and this fog, it may be tough to get rid of today for many of us, so that may keep temperatures on the cooler side. Your best bet for a little bit of sun working its way in would be in the eastern and northeast part of the state. We might get some in the Tri-Cities. Now, I do think that future casters will go back a little bit. It's probably overdone with that precipitation here this afternoon. More, I've kept the forecast dry. If we see anything, it would probably more than likely be drizzled than anything. Um, so while not in my forecast, I wouldn't completely rule that out. Heading through tonight, then look out west, and we're going to stop it right here. Let's go back. Uh, might see some storms that develop here in, during the late evening hours out west and then spread into the western parts of our viewing area after midnight. Maybe something after midnight in the Tri-Cities with a, maybe a little better chance early tomorrow morning. So we're going to go through about a 30% chance of rain and thunderstorms here in central Nebraska early tomorrow morning. Not really much of a severe weather threat out there. The chances continue through the morning with much lower chance in the afternoon. By the afternoon, we may be back to more of just kind of the drizzly conditions or just kind of cloud cover out there. I really don't expect much precipitation tomorrow afternoon. But once again, another below average day thanks to mostly cloudy skies. So how about your temperatures out there today? We're going to be looking at mid and upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. That's a below average day. Temperatures do hinge on sunshine, though. That's why I have some of the warmest temperatures in the east where the better chance of sun will be. Getting into tonight, back down into the 60s for overnight lows. Tomorrow's temperatures may be a little warmer than today. Looks like a few more places into the 80s, especially across the southeast and the southwest, and then back into the panhandle. Otherwise, upper 70s for the rest of us. Still below average, though, for this time of the year. Saturday does look like we'll actually take a step backwards now just a bit as we'll see probably more cloud cover around. Plus, still a chance of rain and thunderstorms favoring the morning hours on your Saturday. So uh, let's look at that long-range forecast here the next three days. We've talked about it a little bit here, a little foggy this morning. That chance of rain and thunderstorms after midnight tonight through tomorrow morning. Then the next chance comes uh, about a 30% chance tomorrow evening. But then late Saturday night after midnight, we bump that up to a 50% chance of rain and thunderstorms. So that's probably our best chance of rain and thunderstorms at least the next three days and probably through the next week ahead. Now, uh, Saturday morning, still a chance of rain and thunderstorms, about a 40% chance. That chance gets a little lower Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. But with the extra clouds around, likely a little cooler Saturday. Sunday looks to be our warmest day of the forecast right now. Uh, still a little bit of light rain and thunderstorm activity is possible on Sunday, but it's a lower chance, and I think we'll sneak in a little more sunshine. So that'll help warm things up into the low and mid 80s. A little breezy over the weekend we're talking winds up around 15 miles per hour so not a terribly nasty wind or anything like that just a little breezy out there still a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms through early monday morning or through the monday morning time frame and that's as a cold front comes through sunday night into monday and so that means a drop in temperatures once again once we get past monday morning i have taken any chance of rain out of the forecast all the way through wednesday and right now temperatures trending down back into the mid and upper 70s for highs so below average once again those lows are actually going to get a little bit lower indicating that we're probably looking at more in the way of clear skies and a cooler air mass in place and speaking of cooler look at the long range here beyond that seven day forecast 70s sticking around right through the last three days of august so uh, in fact looking at the forecast for friday the 30th i have 71 here almost every forecast model is on board with a well below average day and some many models actually have a staying in the 60s on that friday now it's a long ways out and things can change. I'll tell you that right now, but the trend has been to keep things on the cooler side. And that would include the 31st of August, which is the final Saturday. And it's the first football Saturday, the Husker football game, 11 o'clock kickoff there in Lincoln against South Alabama. We could be looking at temperatures at kickoff in the 60s and only warming up into the lower 70s. So it looks like it could be a cool one out there even then. Like I said though, that's a long ways out yet. Schedule subject to change, I'll tell you that right now, but as of right now, a lot of below average ahead of us over the next week and a half. So, with that, I'm going to let you all go. Uh, enjoy the fall like readings, I guess. Uh, if you like sunshine, hope you get a little bit of it. I am hoping that we can at least get a little sun to dry things out. I need to mow later today and 
my yard's kind of wet after the rain we had yesterday morning. So uh, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. We'll see you all again on your Friday morning, of first Friday, also the first day of the Nebraska State Fair. So this also gives you a way to plan what you could be expecting for the Nebraska State Fair. And I'm hoping much of next week, especially the early to middle parts of next week, will stay on the dry side. We'll see you all again tomorrow morning. Until then, take care. God bless. Bye.